Hey there, ShareFile users. I'm going to explain all the options you have to share documents in ShareFile. So let's dive right in. When you share a file using ShareFile, it seamlessly adds an extra layer of security, ensuring that users can access it only after logging in. To start, you should create a user profile for your clients ahead of time. This ensures that they have their login credentials set up before they need to collaborate with you. There are three ways in which client accounts can be created. The first way is to create a new client. Go to People, Browse Clients, add your client here, and make sure to send the client an account activation email. They'll be able to activate their account and set up their password with this email. The second option is if a client user previously viewed a document via the method of entering their name and email when accessing the link. They will be recorded in ShareFile as a client, however, do not have an official account. You'll still need to finish setting up the account for this client. You can do this by going to People, Browse Clients, search for the client's name or email address, and select the client. Fill in all the necessary fields and save the changes. And on the right-hand side, click on Email Login Information. Lastly, select Notify to send their welcome email. The third option is adding a new user directly to a folder. Adding a user to a folder will prompt the user to fill out the fields necessary to create a client user. This adds a client immediately to a folder and sends the welcome email. Start by going to the folder you want to share, select People, and then add people to a folder. Create a new user and enter in their email address, first name, last name, and if applicable, their company and select Add. Set their folder permissions. And remember to make sure the Notify Added Users box is checked, otherwise a client will not receive an email to activate their client user account. Lastly, click on Add to complete the process. In addition to the previous share options, you can also email recipients directly from ShareFile. They'll be asked to log in using the email address the link was sent to, and only this person can view the file. This is ideal for sharing one-off files. If you have many files to share, we recommend adding the recipient to the folder within ShareFile. You can view your history of sent files in your ShareFile inbox. Now you're ready to share files with your clients. There are two types of ShareFile links. Those that require authentication to view, which we recommend, and those that are public, meaning anyone can view without being made to log in. Let's break it down. When creating a link by default, you'll see that users can download after signing in. Selecting Edit Options allows you to change how users can access this link. If you select Client and Employee Users after signing in or Employee Users after signing in, the recipient of the shared link will be required to log in to view or download the file. Now let's talk about the other option for who can access a file, Public Links. Public links are great options for non-sensitive information. Links created in this format enable the viewer to see the information without logging in. They are essentially a guest or anonymous user. Selecting anyone public enter name and email enables anyone with the link to enter a name and email into the text field without logging in to view the content. Note that even though the user is entering their email, this is not authenticating or verifying the user. It is simply recording the entry. It's important to remember that links accessible by anyone should only be used for non-sensitive data. These links could be accessed by anyone on the internet. There are further options you can add to customize the view, download, and edit permissions of your document. Fine tune the viewing and downloading permissions according to your specific preferences. Also keep in mind the duration the link should be accessible. Use these options carefully, considering the balance between accessibility and security. Once you've generated a link, you can easily share it through email, chat, or any other method to provide access to the file. Thanks for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for future ShareFile tips. Until next time, happy sharing.